The voters turned out in record numbers and delivered an historic victory. Aides say the president sees his victory as a clear mandate. Everything we know about this election tells us the exit polls were right. George Bush lost this election. The scope of the theft is almost unfathomable. Or in some of the precincts, there was an 80% undervote. That means eight out of 10 people who came to the poll did not care enough about the presidential race to vote. I don't think so. The targeting of people of color is very computerized. We had testimony that some people stayed 12 hours in the line. And it was so blatantly obvious that the inner city machines were missing. Computers are the new 21st century threat to the voting process. With these machines, you can alter the outcome of the national election undetectably. <laughs> There's this new breed of activists who no longer trust the way our election system goes. Mr. Curtis, are there programs that can be used to secretly fix elections? Yes. I wrote a prototype for President Congressman Tom Feeney that did just that. In the 2000 election, there were 180,000 uncounted votes in Florida. He had a very simple concept, that you should be able to verify your vote, just like you can verify the money you get out of an ATM machine. I put in that tape and start listening. It was smoking gun proof that Diebold was using illegal, uncertified software in their voting machines, that they knew it was illegal. It could change the outcome of every election. Whoever was in power, could stay in power. What he found was an extraordinary threat to national security. The notion of stolen elections is something we assign to third world countries, but not to this beacon of freedom and democracy that we like to view ourselves as. Look at the pattern of the past few elections. We have every reason to believe that the 2008 election is going to be manipulated.